Hello! In this video, I'll show you how to set up an e-commerce crisis alert bot using N8N to monitor your online store and prevent costly issues. First, let's explore why this automation is critical. E-commerce downtime costs businesses an average of $5,600 per hour, soaring to $25,000 hourly during peak seasons. Slow performance also hurts, pages loading beyond 3 seconds, increased bounce rates by 53%, each extra second drops conversions by 7%, and 70% of carts are abandoned during performance issues. Worse, 88% of customers won't return after a bad experience. Downtime equals lost revenue. On average, businesses take 23 minutes to detect issues and 15 to 45 minutes to respond, creating a 38 to 68 minute window that can cost thousands, especially since 67% of critical issues occur outside business hours. This bot helps you detect and address problems instantly. Let's overview the automation at a high level, then run a live demo and explain each node's setup. The bot has four components, an SEO report system for website performance and improvement recommendations, a sales report for tracking orders, abandoned carts and inventory, a website downtime alert sent to Slack, and an inventory management system, which I covered in another video linked in the description. For the demo, I'll start with the website downtime alert. I'm using a Google Sheet listing a sample store's URL. Not my own, just a random site for testing. I'll intentionally trigger an error by editing the URL to something invalid, like adding random characters. Now I'll run the workflow to test it. The workflow detected the error, analyzed it, and sent a Slack notification. Let's check my Slack channel. After refreshing, I see a message, website down, error code 404. It explains that a 404 error means the server can't find the requested resource, likely due to my incorrect URL edit. It suggests fixes like checking the URL, refreshing the page, or clearing the browser cache. Actionable steps to resolve the issue. Next, let's test the SEO report. I'll fix the URL in the Google Sheet to my Shopify store's domain. This store is basic, lacking images, so I expect the AI to identify issues and provide insights. I'll save the Google Sheet and run the workflow again. The workflow performed a technical and content audit of my website and pulled a sales report from Shopify. I should receive these in Slack soon. The sales report covers orders, abandoned carts, and inventory levels. In my Slack sales report channel, I see a new message with a critical alert. Cart abandonment analysis is ongoing, as my store is only two days old and lacks historical data. It reports three orders, one yesterday, two today, total revenue, and identifies mom jeans as the top product. Conversion rates aren't calculated yet due to limited data. For inventory, it flags mom jeans with only three units left as critical, lists sweatshirts, 58 units, it recommends reordering 100 units of mom jeans. Now let's check the SEO report in the SEO report channel. It highlights critical issues from technical and content audits. The technical report notes a present but suboptimal page title for SEO, slow page speed impacting revenue, missing structured data, and no HTTPS. Quick wins include optimizing images, which aligns with my store's lack of quality visuals, the content analysis flags missing meta descriptions, canonical tags, and H1 tags, plus a password protected page. It suggests adding unique, relevant H1 headers and meta descriptions to boost click-through rates. These actionable insights help improve site performance. For inventory management, go to my linked video for details, as I won't cover it here. Now let's dive into the node setup. I used a manual trigger for testing, but you should replace it with a schedule trigger node to run every minute, 30 minutes, or hourly, depending on your needs. The Google Sheet node connects to a sheet with two tabs, one for the website URL, error, and date, and another for inventory data covered in the linked video. The sheet logs errors but prioritizes Slack notifications, so it's not heavily detailed. The HTTP request node checks the website for errors by fetching the URL from the Google Sheet. In the workflow's error branch, seen in the execution log, it detected the 404 error due to the invalid URL. To configure the HTTP request node, go to its settings and select Continue Using Error Output. 
This creates success and error branches, unlike the default continue setting. The error branch leads to a basic LLM chain node with a simple prompt. Explain the error briefly and suggest fixes. It uses the error data from the HTTP request node. The LLM node's output feeds into a Slack node, which sends the error message. To set up Slack credentials, go to slack.com, click Add Apps, then Browse Apps. In the New tab, select Build, then Your Apps. Click Create New App, choose from scratch, name it, and select your workspace. After creation, go to Auth and Permissions in the sidebar. For the redirect URL, return to N8N's Slack node, click Create New Credential, and copy the OAuth redirect URL under Auth. Paste it into Slack's redirect URLs field. Add scopes like ChatWrite for sending messages. Consult ChatGPT or Claude if unsure about scopes. Install the app to your workspace. You'll receive an access token or client ID. Go to Basic Information in Slack, copy the client ID in secret, and paste them into N8N's credential fields. Save to connect. In the Slack node, select your channel. Create a channel in Slack via Add Channels, name it, and refresh N8N to list it. The message template reads, Website down, URL, error code, reason AI explanation. These fields pull from the Google Sheet and LLM nodes. Optionally, a Google Sheet update node logs the error and date to Sheet 1. You can skip this if Slack notifications suffice. For the success branch, no errors, the workflow runs an SEO audit. A set node defines the website data as a variable named data for use in later nodes, avoiding direct references to the HTTP request node, which could fail if errors occur. An LLM node using GPT-40 performs a technical SEO audit. I recommend over GPT-4 for accuracy. The prompt is, you are a top-tier SEO manager. Conduct an on-page technical SEO audit by analyzing the page's HTML code. It identifies issues like slow page speed and missing structured data. A second LLM node conducts a content audit with a similar prompt, analyzing HTML for issues like missing meta descriptions and H1 tags. Both nodes' outputs feed into a merge node, combining them into one dataset. An aggregate node consolidates the merged data into a single item, which is sent to a Slack node in the SEO report channel, configured like the error Slack node, but with a different channel. The sales report uses an AI agent node to fetch Shopify data. My demo store has a few products and orders for testing. The node retrieves orders, calculates metrics, and checks inventory. A calculator tool handles metrics, and a think tool ensures accurate processing by evaluating steps. The AI agent's prompt is, you are an e-commerce analytics assistant specializing in cart abandonment and inventory management. It prioritizes critical issues, then reports sales orders and inventory, structuring the response with critical alerts first, followed by general findings. An example response format is included for clarity. The agent's output goes to a Slack node in the sales report channel, delivering the report. If your store has more data, the analysis will be richer. My demo's limited data skipped some calculations. That's the complete setup. Check the linked inventory management video for more details. You can find this template in the description below. I'll see you in the next tutorial.